Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Reading Brain Bowl, where reading is fundamental, and this is your brain on reading. I'm your host, Randall Fields. And today we're going to be reading Pig Pig Returns by David McPhail. Please remember that reading Brain Bowl is not only for children, but for people of all ages, especially people who are now studying uh, ESL from other countries. So let's begin. Okay, so Pig Pig Returns. Pig Pig would rather stay home and build a rocket ship model or read back issues of daring pig exploits than spend the summer with his aunt. Pig Pig didn't want to spend summer vacation traveling across the country with Aunt Wilmer and Uncle Fred. He just wanted to stay home with his mother and his cat. I know the feeling. I'm an introvert. There were so many things he wanted to do. He had a new rocket ship model to assemble. And who would do his chores while he was gone? But mostly, Pig Pig was concerned that his mother and Fluffy would miss him too much. Don't worry, dear. I'll feed Fluffy and put out the trash. But his aunt and uncle were so insistent. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. And so he went. Uncle Fred urged Pig Pig to take in the sights of the open road. But Pig Pig insisted on catching up on back issues of his favorite magazine, Daring Pig Exploits. An emergency stop was soon required. Back on a road, Pig Pig decided to look out the window. The tired old car chugged to the top of Buzzard Mountain for the spectacular view. But when they got there, it was a little cloudy. Next was the hot springs where water squirted 50 feet into the air every Thursday afternoon. Unfortunately, they arrived there on a Friday. Then they visited the world's biggest ball of yarn. This ball contained 7,210 miles of yarn. Fluffy would love this. They saw a house made entirely from soda cans. Pig Pig found it interesting and wrote about it in a postcard to his mother. Admission, one soda can, uncrushed. Then he had his picture taken on a boulder that looked like an elephant. That was exciting. Say cheese. They peered into a deep hole that the guide said went all the way to China. Pig Pig was suitably impressed. Wow. Amazing. And how could he ever forget the famous three-legged chicken? Pig Pig was having a great vacation with Aunt Wilma and Uncle Fred. He couldn't believe he hadn't wanted to come. All too soon it was time to go home. He sent his mother a postcard saying he would be there soon. Pig Pig was excited, but he was also worried. What if Fluffy didn't remember him? 
What if his mother had rented his room to a stranger or had given all his toys away? What if she'd forgotten how he liked his oatmeal? This used to be my son's room. Or had canceled his subscription to Daring Pig Exploits. No thanks. Poor Pig Pig. His fears only got worse when Aunt Wilma stopped the camper in front of Pig Pig's house. No one was there to greet him. Had his mother forgotten him? Had she and Fluffy moved away? But just when he thought he might start bawling, he caught a whiff of something good. The smell of oatmeal cooking. Pig Pig leaped from the car and dashed up the walk. Just as he did, the front door flew open and there was his mother, with Fluffy beside her. Yay! Oatmeal! Pig Pig ran into his mother's waiting arms, and after a long, big hug, he bent down and picked up Fluffy, who licked Pig Pig on the snout. Welcome home. Then Pig Pig, Aunt Wilma, and Uncle Fred went inside to share stories of their adventure over warm bowls of oatmeal. Pig Pig had a wonderful time, but he was happy to be home. The end. So why don't, uh, I want to ask something of my subscribers. Have you, what did you do over the summer? Have you ever had a summer vacation or even a winter vacation where you went to somewhere spectacular? Um, I think one of my greatest trips ever was when I, my wife took me and the kids or I took my wife and the kids and we all went to uh, Hawaii. It was the greatest time I ever had. It was so beautiful. Uh, the we weather was perfect in comparison to maybe Shanghai. Um, it was a beautiful experience. We ate all kinds of great food. Uh, the hotel was excellent. Uh, everybody was so nice. And we did a, a tour package. And um, they took us on the coastline of uh, Waikiki. We, we visited Waikiki Beach. We did a whole bunch of things. But I did still miss China, you know, uh, although America is my home. I still missed Shanghai, and I was very happy to come back. But I really enjoyed Hawaii, and so did my kids and my wife. So why don't you write a story in the comment section and tell me, uh, where did you go? And did you miss home when you went on your vacation? So this is Randall Fields, and this is the conclusion of today's episode of Reading Rainbow. And don't forget that reading is fundamental. And this is your brain on reading.